Hi guys, Mike with Fights of Friends here, wishing you all a happy 4th of July again. Um, I'm in between vacation destinations. We just got back from eastern Washington last night. We're going to come home, regroup, repack for that great fireworks show uh, tomorrow, 4th of July in Long Beach, Washington. I'll be live streaming from what they call the war zone. Then the next day, of course, uh, I'll be live streaming another war fireworks show, and that's uh, Professional Fighters League 3. And there's a lot of great fights, not just in this tournament, but on this particular card. I'm going to break down the top six. Uh, Joe Zeferino versus Paul Bradley. Uh, Joe Zeferino goes by the Brazilian Samurai. If you've never heard of him, he's 21-9. and nine. He's finished all but three of his fights. Guy's got masterful jiu-jitsu. He's got 15 submission wins. Uh, one of the first things I looked at was how did he do against other participants that are in this tournament? Uh, well, he's got a KO victory against Jason High. Uh, he fought Brian Foster uh, twice, actually, in an eight-man World Series of Fighting tournament, and they split victories. Um, Zeferino submitted Brian Foster the first time in the first round. It was a double elimination tournament. Brian Foster came back later in the night, uh, knocked him out in the second round. Uh, so if Zeferino does win against Bradley, it's likely that we get to see a third fight between these two. And that's an exciting trilogy in my mind. Um, if you remember, Brian Foster had an incredible debut in this tournament. Um, beautiful spectacular knockout if you don't remember look it up but uh finishing paul bradley's not going to be an easy task uh the guy's got 33 fights uh, he's never been finished by submission his only ko loss came to a bigger luke rockhold and strike force um zeferino is highly unlikely to knock paul bradley out and like i said Br bradley's never been submitted this could go to decision uh, Bradley's got 15 victories by finish himself. He's got seven subs and eight knockouts. His eight losses have mostly came uh, when he stepped up in competition uh, against Rafael Natal, Luke Rockhold, a split decision loss against Yushin Okami, uh, and he lost a decision in his last fight in Bellator against former champion Alexander Shlomenko. Uh, so he's he fought some pretty stiff competition. Uh, both fighters have. Uh, however, I have to give the 32-year-old Zeferino the advantage over 35-year-old Bradley uh, by decision. I just think he's a little more complete MMA fighter. And I really hope that that sets up an exciting trilogy match in this uh, with Brian Foster. I think it just adds one more wheel to the cog of this incredible tournament. Maybe you guys have seen the advertisements on NBC, uh, on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, on other venues. I'm glad that they're advertising this. I hope that they're getting the viewers and some competition for the UFC. And I, I really, I think Joe Zeferino versus Paul Bradley is going to be a great fight.